so you ever get into a funk where um, you're doing an activity that you used to enjoy, but um, for some reason you get caught up in it and it feels more like work or chore than it does an activity that's actually fun? Yeah, that's um, that's what I felt today. I uh, I <laughs> I had to do something. I had to make a YouTube video. I had to make a piece of content, and um, and I wasn't I wasn't feeling it. I was I was putting it off. I was doing other things to procrastinate. I was kind of making up stuff to do around the house so that I didn't have to make this piece of content. Um, and I was just kind of looking for excuses because it wasn't, it, it didn't feel like something I was going to enjoy doing. And then I, I kind of had this revelation and it mostly happened because of, because of my dog, because, so if you don't know, I have a, um, I rescued, uh, a, a dog from, I think it was, he came from, um, Alabama and he, his name's Cooper. He is some kind of mix of something really big, maybe lab and great Pyrenees and probably Pitbull. Um, but he is a hundred pounds. So he's a big boy. And, um, and no matter what, he is like always happy to see me and always wants to play. And, um, and yeah, I, I came downstairs and I was just busy doing stuff, trying to procrastinate from doing what I actually needed to do. And he comes over with his giant ball and he like drops it at my feet and he's like, Hey man, will you throw this to me? And, uh, and so I play with him and, and he's a great dog. I will play fetch in the house, even though mom always says don't play ball in the house, but we do anyway. And, uh, and I only have to throw it maybe like five or six times before he gets tired out. And then he takes his ball and he goes and hides and goes to his bed. But it just reminded me, you know, I was doing something mundane and I stopped and I, I played with him for like five or 10 minutes. And it reminded me to remember that to find the fun in the things that I know I enjoy and try to do that every day, right? Like YouTube is supposed to be, it's supposed to be fun, right? It shouldn't be a stressor. It shouldn't be something that keeps you up at night or you worry about or, um, obsess over because that just isn't, isn't what the platform is about. Um, part of this stems from, from some of the content I've made recently where it feels a lot like work and money gets involved and people have strong opinions. And I think to myself, okay, take a step back. <laughs> You're literally just turning on a camera and making videos and, and saying what you want to say, and you should enjoy doing it. It should be something that you, that it's your creative outlet, right? So why am I worried about what other people will think or say, or how they will consume my content? Because I have no control over those things. But what I do have control over is enjoying the process, coming up with fun and creative ways to convey the information that I want to convey. And, um, and yeah, generally not worrying about it so much. And that's, that's exactly what I did today. I, I made a fun piece of content. I, I thought about it really hard about a creative way to do it. Um, I was really upset because people were so serious about some recent stuff that I made that I needed to make something that was a little more lighthearted and a, and a little bit Sorry, sorry. There's a giant crash downstairs. I think, I think someone is doing dishes or something, but, um, I wanted to be a little more lighthearted, right. To remind myself and potentially other people that, that you're on this platform to 
connect, yeah, and but to have fun, to like enjoy yourself, right? Like no one goes to YouTube because they want to feel bad. They go to YouTube to watch videos, to, to escape, to be entertained, to learn new things, to connect with people, right? To, and if you're a creator, to, to have that creative outlet to do all of those things. Um, and so just hanging out, playing with my dog for five minutes made me remember that, hey, I can have fun doing this. It doesn't have to be so gloom and doom and serious all the time. Um, even videos on this channel, I, I don't know if I smile enough um, because we talk about we talk about some deep and heavy concepts and um, emotionally based things. And I just want you to know that I am I, I am not like that 100% of the time. People say I do have an intensity to myself, to, to my personality, and um, my family thinks it's because I am the year of the dragon this year, and, and in Chinese New Year, Chinese culture, dragons are typically intense people. But, but yeah, just so you know, I do have a lighthearted side. I do like to have fun. Um, I do like to joke around, and... I do like to not take myself so serious sometimes. And in the world of, yeah, in today's world, it's hard to, it's, it's easy to, to forget that. Um, but I'm here to make this video to remind myself that, yeah, that is part of me. And, um, and that not every video on this channel is going to be rainbows and butterflies, but not every video is going to be gloom and doom either. And most of the time I'm somewhere in the middle, but I definitely have a, an excited and fun side that I'm, I'm not sure has come out in the last, what, like 24 videos. But um, I'm hoping that that is one of the things that does come out more as the year progresses. So there you go. Get out there, have some fun today. Thanks for hanging out and we'll talk again tomorrow.